Hi there, my name is Simon Stratford and this is my new font called Misfits. Let's take a look at how to use the contextual alternatives and stylistic sets in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, I already have the layers, character and glyphs windows open. You can find them in the top menu under Windows. Here you can see I have typed out the words slow and steady. This is the Misfits basic look without any contextual alternatives or stylistic changes. The easiest way I can explain what contextual alternatives are is by showing you. I'm going to select my type and hit the contextual alternatives button. Boom! See how the text changes? The words now have a totally different look. Let's just see that again. It looks cool, right? And really changes the look of your text. That's contextual alternatives in action. But I also have some alternative letters to show you. You can access the alternatives via the glyphs panel. Just select a letter in your text and click on the letter in the glyphs panel. Here I have it filtered to just show me the alternatives for my selection. So it's only going to show the alternatives for T. Here the T has three alternative letter forms. Feel free to play around with it. Let's change one more. Let's switch out that D. And that's it. That's how you apply contextual alternatives or select stylistic changes. I hope you enjoy using my font. If you have any questions or comments, email me via my website or grab me on social. Bye.